previously I said my next video was going to be on line of sight and repeaters and code guards and that's actually going to be the eighth video I'll make. The ninth video will be on programming. I realized before I talk about any of that and how that applies to your Bofeng, we need to talk about menu settings first. I'm not going to discuss all of the menu settings. You can look them up on YouTube or use the manual. I just don't use them all. To begin programming or changing other settings, you're going to want to go into frequency mode, pressing this VFO button here. Frequency mode. Once you're in frequency mode, what I want you to remember about this menu button is you're typically, typically going to have to press it three times in order to make any changes. The first time you press it, it will allow you to cycle through uh, the different setting menu which there are 40 of. The second time you press it, it'll enter you into that setting where you can actually make changes either by pressing them in with the uh, numbers depending on the setting or scrolling through your options with the arrows. And then the third time you press menu will be to actually save it. Now anywhere in this process, if you take too long, it'll time you out and it'll just put you back in frequency mode and you have to start over. I already have us in frequency mode, so we're going to start going through our menus, through our settings in our menu. Menu. Press menu one time and it drops us into the first setting, which is step. We are not going to review that here. We can press the up arrow to proceed to the second setting, which is transmit power. Usually you want to try to uh, transmit on as low a power setting as possible. I just have it set to high. Menu. The next setting is battery saver. Three is the default I use. The fourth is voice operation. When you talk, it'll start to transmit. I don't use that. I keep that off. The fifth is wide and narrow band. For wide bands, uh, most ham operators prefer to use that because that's the frequencies they operate on and you can actually transmit further on wide mode. Menu. Some of the frequencies I use are narrow banded, so I keep mine setting to uh, narrow band. Next is ABR. I don't remember what that is, but I keep the default setting on five. TDR, this is what allows you to listen to two frequencies at one time on A and B. If that's too distracting for you, you can press menu again, standby. which now, that was the second time you press menu, it drops you into here where you can make changes using the arrows. And if you take too long, it'll it'll time out like it did. So I'm gonna press menu, menu once, which gets me into here. Menu again, standby. which allows me to t change settings. Now I'm gonna use the, the arrow and I can turn it off. Now the third time I press menu, Confirm. which was here, it saved the setting. But I like listening to both, so I'm going to change it back. Standby. Confirm. And I'm going to continue scrolling through. The next one is number six. Beep. Sure. I like it to beep when I press buttons. Number seven. Uh, transmission timeout. I leave it on 60. That just means if, uh, let's say, you accidentally are transmitting and you hold it down, or if it's held down uh, for more than 60 seconds, it'll it'll cut out. So you can change that. I just leave it on Menu. 60. The next setting is, uh, okay, so this is R is for receive. So for 10 and 11, those are tone guards or code guards, which we'll talk about later. You also have transmit tone guards. When you're going through, make sure that they are on zero or make sure that they are off. Now let's go back in to show you. Menu. When they're off it says off. In this case there's one programmed in so I'm going to press menu again which allows me to make changes and then I press zero which will turn it off and then I press menu again to save. Confirm. Okay now I'm going to continue scrolling through Voice is English, yes. Next setting, uh, this is an ID that can be transmitted every time you key the mic. 
That's the default, and I leave it there. I do not remember what this is. Uh, let's continue on to number seven, uh, 17. Um, again, I don't remember what this is, but my default is number one. One thing I want you to notice is you can use the numbers as a shortcut. So for instance, transmit power is two. So if I am going to menu, it'll pick up where I last left off, menu. but I can press two and it'll take me to tr right to transmit power. And now I'm going to go back to 17 and keep scrolling through 18. This is a scan setting, which I talked about. I believe it was the previous video. I talked about it again, then pressing menu the second time will get you into the setting. Use your arrows to change it and menu Confirm. to save it. I'm going to continue scrolling through. Push to talk ID off. I keep it off. That is again when you uh, press, when you key the mic, it will transmit an ID, Menu. which I prefer it not to do. Uh, push to talk, what is that? LT5. I don't know what that setting is. 5 is my default. Um, Menu settings 21 and 22. You'll notice it says name. There's two of settings A and B. What that means is if I exit and I come back over to channel mode, channel mode. it'll display the name of the frequency that I named it instead of just displaying frequency mode. the actual frequency. If you wanted to see the frequency, you could change that setting and it would display your, um, channel mode. even if you're in channel mode, it would display the numbers, the frequency. So let's go back into frequency mode, frequency mode and continue going through our menu. menu. I don't remember what this is. I don't remember what this is. Shift. Now this, I'm going to go into the frequency menu direction. to make a change and I'm going to turn it off Confirm. and save it. Yours should be off unless you were um, trying to program in a repeater, which we'll talk about in another video. Oops. Let's keep scrolling through. Menu. Offset. Again, this is going to be a setting you use when you are programming in a repeater. Offset frequency. So I pressed menu a second time. And zero, 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 zero. Set it to zero. Confirm. Press menu again to save. And now I'm going to keep scrolling through memory channel. That's what you're going to use to save and to program uh, new radio frequencies. Delete channel. You're going to use that to delete the frequencies you've saved. 29, 30, and 31 are all different colors you can make your LED. 32, make sure this, it press menu to get into the setting, change it to sight. Confirm. Make sure that is in sight mode. Keep scrolling through. Uh, your band shouldn't matter because it'll it, it it's always listening to both, depending on what you have programmed into the radio. Menu. Uh, TDR AB. Okay, so most of these settings, I'll just show you the default. Thirty four. Keep it off. 35, keep it on, 36, set it to 5, 37, off, 38, 39, keep it off, and 40, just keep scrolling on by 40, because if you mess with 40, you're going to delete everything that's been programmed into your radio. And we're back to squelch. Wait a minute. Okay, so squelch is zero, and we started on number one, which was step. So squelch, I'm not going to discuss that. Uh, from the ham operators who've done tests on these radios, they say this setting doesn't do much, so I keep mine at five. The squelch setting is an important setting, but what I meant is the Bofang radios are cheap, so changing your squelch setting doesn't actually adjust your squelch, is what I've been told. 
Okay, I hope that made your radio make a little bit more sense as far as the menus go. And in our next video, we'll be talking about tone guards, repeaters, antennas, transmit power. And that's it.